not really geezers. I am fucking sat here in town at nine o'clock in the morning, um, waiting for an owl jump juice, so I am. If you know what that is, fucking good man to you. It only opens at nine o'clock, and to blend an owl orange takes literally about 15 minutes, but whatever about the process, the end result is what we're looking for. Um, so, one of those days, I don't really have uh, topics, and I really want to vlog, man. I wish I was this fucking, like, super content creator that just was doing all this mad shit with other people, man. But I just can't. I'm just working. I'm working a fucking simple life, man. Making, you know, changing people's lives via the medium of six packs and, you know, just uh, keeping it cute. Jump Juice has arrived. Yeah! All right, guys, so this is my office, my new office, as you can see here, by my professional mic, looking like a sexy Joe Rogan with hair. I used to have a little desk, you know, you want to see what this thing is standing on. I do have a tripod right here, but I decided to balance it on a tissue and a highlighter, so... Just thought I'd update you on that one. This morning we had uh, a training session with a client and I, you saw us getting now jump juice. I have to go back there now in a few minutes to the gym. I want to get a session in, but I also have to film some content. Now, the content I'm filming is a, it's like a montage kind of movie. I think I might actually show you a little clip of it. Um, yeah, let's see if I can show you here. Right, so watch this. This is like the, uh, the little movie I do in Star Film, yeah? Oh, look at that. That is madness. Right. So you're going to get a bit of film in that? Oh, you up there, Oh, yeah. And that's all you're getting. I have to, I don't have to, it's more like a, uh, it's more like a little passion project and I, I have to do some content which is going to film there now and if you're in, uh, in the gym in Galway City you'll see uh, on the screen there's a few like exercises, demonstrations and all that, that's what we've been doing. Now this is more so me taking a fling because there isn't that much editing that goes into you know, the basic tutorials, it's just a little, you know, what the exercise is down the bottom corner and then me fucking, or one of the other members, flat out. Now, this movie is going to be the, to be honest, I don't know, like, you know, I, I just want to do it, I want to get a lot of the members involved, I want to get a lot of the personal trainers involved. And I spent ages collecting films and footage of like all the members of like, you know, which is like a big ass man, you know, it's not easy for a member to go in with their camera and go up to other members and be like, sticking a fucking, you know, a big uh, fucking camera in their face and be like, yeah, yeah, go on, work out there a second now while I, uh, <laughs> while I film you, like, it's completely madness, but the end product, if I can do them justice, it'll all be worth it. So we have to uh, hopefully try and get some more footage. I have like two parts of the montage and half of it's done. You know, all the dramatics and the, the build up and the cinematics and uh, whatever else. But the actual members, I have a few, but I need a good bit more. Uh, I think this is gonna be about a five minute movie as well, man. It's fucking madness. And just, I might as well say this. So I am trying to undersell this i'm really excited about it yeah but i can't let on that it's going to be as good as i think it's going to be right obviously i'm telling you guys because no one watched this so it's just between me and you but in regards to who it's for like the gym and the memories i have to like say that, oh i'm not an editor i'm not a youtuber i'm not a um you know i'm not a proper editor i'm not a films person or anything like that i'm like as i say a dickhead with a camera which is true, I am a dickhead with the camera, I am not a fucking, you know, editor or anything like that. This is completely bollocks pulling the shit out of my ass. So, I have to under promise and over deliver. So, hopefully I can actually over deliver and it's not going to be a load of butch editing. So, fingers crossed, it comes out class. Now you might be asking yourself, Chris, hold on a second. How come we've gone from poor production Excuse me. How come we've gone from poor production to even poorer production? Now, bear with me. 
Whereas in the past, right, I was watching, I've done a lot of research on YouTubers and how they should be able to stay so consistent. Because I want to upload as consistently as these people. But I just can't, like, there isn't enough action in my life to bring to you yet. And that's not stopping all these other people. They are, uh, let's just say I was watching some videos. And they sat down and they just talked. They didn't even know what they were going to say. Like, they didn't know, they didn't, weren't trying to educate you. They weren't really trying to entertain you. They were just doing what they were doing with the camera on. And raking in the views. So, I'm going to take a leaf out of their book. I'm just going to sit down and start talking to you. I'm just going to say whatever's on my mind. And apparently, that is what they call entertainment. So, if this new style of vlogging of just chilling and just kind of picking up the camera and talking to it suits let me know i'm still gonna try and bring you at least some informative or decent videos because i feel obliged to at least try and push some education on you regarding health and fitness but for the most part man do you know i think i'm just gonna start talking to you so like imagine that right i gotta go to the gym charge this camera and uh take a fuck ton of pre-workout yeah <laughs> so Stay tuned, yeah. Wanna go? Yeah. Give me three more. One, two. All right, give us one more. Sweet. The weight on these fellas, back. Oh, 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 go on you. Two more, up, oh, one more. Lovely. That's you, Rash. Come on, Rack, that look you fucking mean now. Walk back or walk forward? And now walk away from me. Fucking Yopale. Savage. Alright, so content is done for Galway City Gym. And we have basically done all the tutorials and all that shit. Uh, I'll show you what I mean by the way. So at the minute we have got that fucking Robbie Lipset up there. Fucking gee bag man. Absolute fucking nuts. Get up out of there. Look at them terrible girls man. What the hell is that? Alright, so while we are waiting for me to pop up on the screen. show you my last set like we said there the last of on strength phase so we've got 110 120 on the bar set four I wasn't gonna film this workout but again I just don't feel good giving you shit content so I'm gonna get Ranji to spot me here and uh, this will be the first time I've completed all four sets on 120 so we'll see how we get on
So that is, uh, that's the video, basically. You seen that little bit, of, I wasn't gonna film the uh, the push workout and I, uh, I just said I filmed the last set of every exercise, just to give you a little insight on where my RPE is and how far I am going. Um, the good session overall, you seen the bench press, which was flat, that was 120, um, four by five. Then we went on to incline dumbbell press. Um, we got sets of 45 there. Last set was on a 40 uh, by five. Just because, um, just because I was fatigued, absolutely battered. Uh, and then we did the dips, the weighted dips. There was a 35 kilo dumbbell hanging off my nuts. Um, the reason I use a dumbbell and not plates is because uh, the plates are getting too big. I used to use three tens, and I couldn't get a fourth in. I couldn't get a five plate in there, and a 15 is too big. Cause it keeps hitting off the ground like my nads so we uh we boshed out some 35 dumbbells uh quite actually impressed the fact that i can hang dumbbells off my nuts i know it's so obvious obviously yeah but i've never done it before never seen anyone do it right obviously you like hold the dumbbell between your legs that's one thing but uh, like actually hanging a dumbbell for weights always people hanging plates off it but uh what else do we get up to that was the dips four by six I think I got a 4x5 on that last set, or a 4x4, four four, I can't remember. Um, or sorry, just 4 reps on the last one, or 5 reps. And then we moved on, I don't think I filmed it, was the tricep. Oh no, I did, I got the tricep push down in as well. We got the push down in, um, just standard enough, kind of a little burnout set then really. Uh, overall, again, like we touched on, not sore, not pumped up, but just dead. Just fatigued just fatigued so it's time to go home um we have, have my keys on me we do it's time to go home and a few consultation calls uh a few check-ins and uh, jesus some man losing his fucking brains over there what the hell is going on here <laughs> boys that's gonna do the video for now I uh, hope you've enjoyed like I said at the very beginning I'm gonna start having more relaxed approach to these videos just bringing the camera pointing at that shit and not like you know what's Gary V say document don't create or something bullshit like that I love Gary and I hate Gary but that's gonna do it and we'll go again in the next one good luck when my friends go it was simple when the ends low, switch the tempo I got right, I got heart, I don't die I'ma fight, I go down, bet I strike I go hard day and night, yeah I go hard day and night When the one, no surprise See the hate in they eyes My brother's blood money bleed I got the game in the squeeze What would you do for some green?